In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how my law firm invested $1,000 and got a 4,000% return, which sounds crazy when I say it out loud to where now I'm getting more paranoid that that percentage isn't correct. If it's $40,000 coming in and it's $1,000 invested, that's 40,000 divided by 1,000, that gets you to 40, 40 times 100 is 4,000. That's 4,000%. 4, That's just a bananas number to where if you don't believe what I'm saying and if you think this is a total hoax, I don't blame you, but just keep watching. Welcome to Law Venture, a channel devoted to lawyers and future lawyers. My name is Jarrett Stone. I'm the owner of Stone Firm PLC, but more importantly, today in this video, I'm going to be your guru when it comes to investments. In particular, how you should be investing your law firm's money so you can exponentially grow your law firm's success. If you've been keeping up with the Law Venture videos and my story with my personal injury law firm, then you know that I'm a massive fan of building your law firm on word of mouth referrals and whenever you have those referrals coming in, investing in your clients so you can turn them into walking billboards so that they become another source of referrals as well. And by turning clients that have been referred to you into a referral source, then you should have this compounding effect going on with your law firm. That's exactly what I've done in my situation and exactly why my personal injury law firm has continued to grow each and every year, despite going solo right before the pandemic. Before I walk you through how I was able to turn a $1,000 investment into over $40,000 in attorney's fees, I do wanna address the viewers that are either wanting to start their own personal injury law firm, or they have an existing PI law firm, but they're wanting to improve it or build upon what they already have. You need to know that the PI playbook, the personal injury playbook, which is sliding above right now, is open for enrollment. If you wanna see the secret sauce to my law firm and my law firm's success, definitely check it out. In this course, you're gonna see how I built my referral network, how I operate my law firm on a shoestring budget, and how I maximize my clients' cases in order to turn them into walking billboards so that they become those referral sources so my law firm can continue to exponentially grow. Definitely check it out. I feel like I'm not doing the course justice, so learn more by clicking the link above and below. Okay, so I'm ready to dive in. I got the pen, I got the iPad, we're gonna draw this bad boy out. But before I do, let's just talk about this threshold matter of what I like to do to really impress a lot of my clients. If I get a feel that I can not only knock the case out of a park by reducing my attorney's fees, but I can also turn this client into a walking billboard to where they're just, head over heels because I was able to reduce my attorney's fees to get them more money, then I'll typically accept some degree of a reduction. And that's what happened here with this client number zero, the equivalent of patient zero. So let's draw this out here. So client zero, who is going to be this initial investment, I gotta pull up the number real quick. His case wasn't anything crazy. It was a rather small case in the grand scheme of things. And so with his value, it was a $13,000 settlement. But I really wanted to maximize this case for client number zero. The reason for that was in talking with the client, he was a pleasure to work with and I wanted him to feel like he got an absolute home run situation. In his case, I was able to implement a lot of strategies to really maximize the value of his case. And those strategies are in the PI playbook, shameless plug right there. But one of the strategies that I used was accepting a $1,000 reduction. And you gotta keep in mind in this situation, the client didn't ask me for a reduction. It was one of those, he told me exactly how much he would ideally want and I exceeded that as a threshold matter. Then on top of that, I said, hey, I'm also going to give you an extra grand that's coming out of my portion of the attorney's fees. When you can do that, that shows not only are you a good lawyer because you're knocking it out of the park, but you're a good person because you're not being money hungry and grabbing on to every penny. Now I don't reduce in all cases, but in certain situations you kind of get a feel for, okay, 
this person could potentially be a great referral source. So I'm going to invest in this particular client. And this is again, client number zero. So let's draw out exactly how this thousand dollar reduction has turned into over $40,000 of attorney's fees. The first referral that came from this client zero, let's do number one for the first referral resulted in a $6,000 settlement. Small case, but nothing that I'm going to necessarily turn away because as you can probably tell, those small cases can result in more referrals, but the referrals haven't stopped there. The next series of referrals came a little bit later and this one with referral number two resulted in a $45,000 settlement forgive my handwriting. And then on top of that, down the road, this client number two sent me a referral as well, because she was super happy with what she received in the grand scheme of things. And this one, it wasn't a large one, it wasn't a large case, but ended up getting this third client, $6,200 settlement. I don't know why I'm putting the K there. I don't need that when I write it all out. So we have another case stemming from it. And this client sent me, this client number zero, sent me another referral. This is number four. And the total here for this referral, I gotta add it up, it's on a couple pages, is, yep, yeah, $80,000 here. So all told, when you combine all of these settlements that have stemmed from client number zero has resulted in $40,000 of attorney's fees. Actually, it's more than $40,000. I'm rounding down just to have an even percentage of 4,000% return on this $1,000 reduction. And that right there is crazy because this $1,000 reduction isn't something that's coming out of my law firm directly necessarily. It's not money that I'm handing over. Instead, it's on paper to where the money hasn't come in yet. We're trying to get the case finalized with the numbers. And I just changed the number to where it's $1,000 less. I increased the client's number to be $1,000 more. And so this investment isn't really something that I'm sweating over, especially if it's $1,000. But this return is something that is compounding on itself. Because if, let's say, client number one sends me another case, client number two sends me another case, client number three sends me a case, client number four sends me another case, then this thousand dollars is looking better as my career progresses over time because I make it a point to knock all, out all of these cases out of the park. And so this is what the overall concept that I try and stress in all my videos when it comes to the compounding effect and having a referral based law firm. Because this is one client resulting in four referrals in the future, we can't lose sight of the fact that if you have other clients as well, then you could also have a similar compounding effect. And you can see how your law firm can pretty quickly grow to where the cases that are coming in on word of mouth referrals, which aren't costing you anything, can start being much more consistent to give you much more consistent work and hopefully much more consistent income. This may be the most important part of the video. So if you're still watching, congratulations, here's the gold nugget and the gold star for you. I hope at this point in time, you're wondering and you're asking the most important question. Jarrett, how did you get client number zero? Because if client number zero takes money in order to get that client, and doesn't that change the equation to where it's really not 4,000%? If that's your thought process, kudos to you. Because if we scroll up, the way I was able to get client number zero was from one of my Cairo referrals, meaning a chiropractic office that sends me their PI cases. The beauty here, once again, is that I did not pay any money to acquire this client number zero. I almost said patient zero from the Cairo perspective. And so the beauty, if you amplify this one more time, is that the Cairo is sending me cases here, 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 here. 
and I'm getting all these cases with all the potential of this compounding effect of what we just saw on this one isolated situation. And on top of that, my favorite part, whenever you have chiros and providers referring you PI cases, is that you're gonna let those providers spend the money to acquire their patients. And whenever they have a patient that was injured in a car wreck and you're their exclusive lawyer, then in that situation, they're sending that client slash patient your way on their dime without you having to spend any money. Again, if you wanna see how I was able to turn providers into a referral source, then you need to check out the PI playbook. If you're in the personal injury space, there are some gold nuggets in this course that can really change your law firm for the better. At the end of the day, I'm all about balling on a budget. And to do that, to achieve this goal, I invest in my referral network, whether it's a provider source or it's a client source. In doing so, I can tell you firsthand, you can exponentially grow your reach as long as you're doing a great job in handling your client's case and also protecting the provider at the same time. That way, in that situation, from a personal injury standpoint, it's a win, win, win to where the provider wins, the client wins, and you win. All right, guys, that sums up this video. If you found value in it, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, or if you just wanna say hi, leave that in the comment section down below. With all that said, I'll see you in the next video.